So I've been inspired by all these crazy alternate tuning videos. I decided to make my own alternate tuning taste test flight. So I've been messing around with these five tunings right here. A few of them are inspired by great guitarists and creators Ichika and Trevor Wong. Hope you guys like what I came up with. Let's go. So I really like this one. Decade tuning, you got this nice on the top strings. You can make some huge chords just like. Ooh, nice and big, nice and open. Honestly, like one of my favorite things about messing with tuning is all the big open chords you can get. So you can definitely get that with decade. Also, you have a, a nice minor shape right here, just on a bar. That's how I started the whole thing. So, man, I love that too. There's a nice fifth. With this tuning, it's really easy. And you have a nice interval in the middle too. The only thing weird about this tuning is like where the A string usually is. It's tuned all the way down to an E. So it's like, it's really easy to get out of tune, but honestly, like, it's kind of a cool sound. It's kind of adds a nice little warble, kind of like a chorusy effect. But you know what? I would 100% recommend this tuning. Please, if you like it, tap that like button. Here's the next one. The ultimate drop D tuning. D, 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 D. Here we go. <laughs> So at first I was really afraid of D, 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 D tuning because how are you supposed to play chords? Why is it the same note no matter what string? Super weird, took me out of my comfort zone. But honestly, I love that kind of oud effect that you can get by playing the same note on different strings. And so that's kind of how like I came up with the first part. Just like I love how it's the same note but doubled and it's kind of like the tuning and the tension's different and it's just kind of a crazy chorusy sound and plus this octave. Super cool. Because everything is the same note, no matter what the string, you're basically forced to play melodies like this way, like on one string. And that tension is super weird because this is usually G, but it's tuned down to a D. So it's just, I could... That bend is gnarly. Drop D is amazing. I definitely would recommend you to try it. If you liked it, tap that sub button. But on to the next tuning, Bad Dad.
So Bad Dad, I really love this tuning. For all the hardcore fans, you know that I posted this song a few weeks back and I just make a lot of riffs and I just kind of forget about them. So it was nice kind of just relearning it. But honestly, Bad Dad, even though it's, it's a funny word, it's super intuitive and honestly like pretty functional. Like up here you already have a fourth and then you have a nice nice octave to just anchor everything. It's, you get some really cool wide chords just by barring. I get, you have to get creative with the, that shape. But <laughs> it's really easy to play octaves in like more than one set. So like that's what I did at the beginning of the song. There you go, much better. <laughs> 10 out of 10, would recommend. You gotta try Bad Dad. It's very good. So on to the next one, egg tuning. E, G, 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 E. So egg tuning is wild. It was messing with me for a little bit and I definitely had to sit down and take some time to get acquainted with this one. It's really cool, you know, it's got the same strings in the middle for like octave kind of stuff. So that's always fun. I was basically anchoring myself to the same strings as standard tuning, like the E, G, and E, but all the extra G's in there makes it super weird. I was just hanging on for dear life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Egg tuning is strange. I don't know if I'd jam on it or anything, but it's definitely worth a try. It'll stretch your mind for sure. So this next one is a crazy one. It's beefed. Hope you like it. So I gotta say, beefed tuning is the most far from a standard tuning you could get in this whole flight. It is so weird. I love the B, obviously, the low B. But then this whole E, E, F, E thing in the middle is messed up. Like, that shouldn't happen. So this whole song that I came up with was just a series of shapes. Like I was like not even thinking of guitar at this point. I was just playing a whole new instrument like I learned it. But again, like I would recommend you try it. It's an acquired taste for sure. It's, it's gonna stretch your brain. It's very cool. Yeah, I'm still like messed up from beefed. It's awesome, but scary at the same time. <laughs> All right, so that was a lot of fun. Please comment below which one you like the best, which song or alternate tuning. And please like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm recommend my channel to people and that means a lot, so please do that. And yeah, comment any other weird tuning or weird thing you want me to do with my guitar. I'd be more than happy to try for your YouTube <laughs> entertainment. But again, hope you guys had as much fun as I did making this video and I'll see y'all next time.